This motor was not starting. And uh, we determined that the starter windings were not engaging or maybe they were broken. Well, actually what was happening was the centripetal switch had slipped on the shaft so that when the motor was off, the start windings were not even engaged. So by pushing the centripetal switch in farther, uh, that caused it to actually engage the starter windings and um, that simple fix makes the motor work. Anytime you're working on any piece of equipment that has a, a capacitor in it this big, rated in the hundreds of volts and hundreds of microfarads, it's extremely important, I can't emphasize enough, discharge the capacitor before servicing that equipment. Don't do anything near the capacitor until you've discharged it. Now while we were in here, we checked the capacitors and found them both to be out of spec. Since they're cheap, we went ahead and replaced them.